Welcome to the Home Economics class. Let's begin our lesson with a short prayer. Father, I thank you for life. I pray for wisdom and understanding for my viewers. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Today we are looking at how to fix a button. And we know buttons are used to close openings on garments and also to beautify them or to make them attractive. We have two types of buttons. These are flat buttons, those with the holes on top, and then buttons with shanks. Buttons with shanks have a protruding bottom where we have the hole for fixing the button. These are pictures of buttons with shanks, and as I explained to you, and these are flat buttons. Some have two holes, some have four holes. We have several materials that are used for making buttons. They include plastic, wood, glass, stone, shell, and fabric. These are images of buttons that are made of metal. These are wooden buttons, glass buttons, stone buttons, shell buttons. The first picture is shells from rivers that are using that have been used in making buttons, and these are coconut shells used in making buttons. Let's look at the rules for fixing on buttons. We must always make sure that buttons are fixed on double fabric. The visible holes on the buttons must correspond with the button holes. Also, buttons are made after button holes are made. And in making the button, you have to mark the position of the button to correspond with that of the button hole. That is, after the button hole has been made, then you trace it onto the part where you are going to fix the button. You must also use a double thread. When fixing buttons, you need, of course, your buttons, a threaded needle, and the garment or the article on which you are fixing the button. There are certain steps we need to follow in when we are fixing buttons. First of all, you have to mark the position of the button. Then you make a backstitch at the exact place where the button is to be fixed. Pass the needle through the hole in the button and down through the opposite hole over a mastic. Then you push the needle through to the wrong side. Sew several stitches in the hole until the button is strongly fixed or secure. Then you bring the needle out under the button on the right side and remove the mastic. What you place on top can be a mic stick, it can be a toothpick, it can even be a needle. Wind the thread several times around the shank as you hold the button tightly. End off on the wrong side with a back stitch. Pass the needle through the layers of the fabric and cut off the thread. If the needle already has a sorry, if the button already has a shank. Allow for a feather thread shank. Here are some of the images of the steps to follow when you are making a button, when you are fixing a button. The fabric on which you are fixing the button is here. Our threaded needle is passed through the fabric. You make a double stitch, a double back stitch once here to secure it you make another one. It can be in the same direction or across it. Then you pass the needle from the wrong side through one of the holes of the button, as we see here. At this point, you have to place a mic stick or a toothpick across the button and you sew several stitches on it. Then you remove the, uh, the mic stick or the toothpick and you bring the needle under the button 
wind it round it severally whilst to hold the button in place until the button is strongly fixed or firm. Then you move to the wrong side and you end out end off. And in fixing a button with a shank tool, you have to start with a double stitch. This double stitch shows at the wrong side. Then you pass the needle through the hole under the button. You pass the needle from there to the wrong side again through the fabric and you sew several stitches. At the end, you are supposed to make a thread shank. Wind the thread around the base of the button for it to be firmly attached to the garment. Now that we have learned how to fix a button, here is the project work you are going to do. You, following the steps given, you are to fix a button and submit it when school resumes. There is an exercise for you to do as well. You are supposed to state two uses of buttons on an article. Then, when you are fixing a button, list four items needed. List four materials used for making buttons. Outline three rules for fixing on buttons. State four steps to follow in fixing a button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and may God bless us all.